Hi guys, it's Nez here. I've got a very short video for you to show you how to download the content for the challenge. If you're brand new to all this sort of stuff, the actual downloading the content might seem a little tricky. It's very straightforward and I've got a very short video to show you how to do it. And you can download the content either from the actual training pages themselves or I'll also show you how you can get it delivered automatically via iTunes if that might be something you prefer. So let's go have a look. Okay, so downloading the content for the challenge is a very easy thing to do. And you can see here I've gone to the Ustream page that we published as the first part of our pre-challenge for the challenge in 2010. And you'll see we've got the YouTube video there on the page and this blue link here is also a link to the YouTube video if you wanted to go to YouTube to watch it. Now over here you'll see three buttons, HD, SD and IP. Now these are the HD ready version, the standard definition version and the iPhone ready version of the video files and every piece of content for the duration of the challenge will be published with those three options. Now if I hold my mouse over the top of the HD one, it gives you instructions to right click to download the HD version of the video. So if I right click, I get the option to save the link as, and the link is actually the video itself. So I'll save link, and I'll get given option to save the video. Now I can save it to my desktop or save it to anywhere I like. That's entirely up to you and you can see with the IP version and the SD version it's the same thing. I hover your mouse over the icon and it'll let you know that you need to right click to download. Now you'll also see that the SD version of the videos are compatible with iPad so all of, all of the iPad users out there you'll be able to watch the iPad versions of the videos and enjoy those. Now the other quick thing I wanted to show you is that the PDF versions, there'll be a transcript of every video and they'll generally be available roughly 24 hours after the videos have been released, released to give our transcriber DOM time to actually get the transcriptions done. And lastly we have three subscription buttons for iTunes. If you'd like to get the content delivered to you via iTunes every day you just subscribe to one of these iTunes feeds. Now we're only offering the iPhone version and iPad version of the videos as well as a feed for the transcripts. So if you wanted to get say the iPad version of the videos and the transcripts, you would subscribe to both the iPad version and the PDF version of the transcripts. So to, just to show you what happens, I'll hover over that one so you can see again. Subscribe to the iPad compatible videos feed in iTunes. Now if I click that, it's going to take me to a fresh page. And you'll see up here we've got a link to go straight to iTunes. And if I click on that link, it'll give me an option to open up the iTunes program and subscribe to that feed. And from then on, I'll get the content delivered fresh every day, or whenever the content's released. And if I don't have iTunes on my system already, which you might not, there's also a link down here that will take you straight to the iTunes download, so you can grab a copy of iTunes in order to subscribe to the feeds. So that's it. Nice and simple. And uh, enjoy the challenge.